This documentary was prepared in a court case against Karen Sanders. Her documentary crew had a lot of fun making it. We really have to vet these people better. I have worked here for seven years and I've always been a pillar of integrity for my watchers. I am being usurped by one Michelle Hope, which is just another example of the younger generation trying to take away women of power in the media. And I want to shine a light on this discrimination that I have experienced. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know why Karen's freaking out. I mean, the producers just hired me because they wanted to boost the ratings. Did you come up with these questions? God, no. This is all Karen, believe me. <gasps> now, after tonight, you will see just how difficult it has been for me to work here. Where the hell is she? How the hell should I know? I told her to be here. Where have you been? I've been waiting here for quite a while now. We've been here, waiting for you. I don't really recall asking you. Karen, we're, we're sorry. Good morning, Karen. Welcome to see you. Welcome to the fun that is our news broadcast room. I think you should turn the camera off for this. I want to be professional when I'm reading the news. And that was the latest update on the state of coronavirus in Queensland. Karen, what's next? You stupid bitch! That was my line! Well, that may have been a little unprofessional of me. Lucky you didn't get any of that on camera. Please. No peps today. Now I am aware that yesterday did not go so well. So today we're going to try and get this right. Okay? Now get out. Ma. Ma. Karen. 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 Me. Shit, I should have been an opera singer. I can't believe me, me, that me, woman me. banished me from the room. I know. She's oh, just one crazy motherfucker. Thanks for that, Dave. And next, does chicken really give you cancer? We'll find out. You are incredible. You speak the truth. So I was thinking, what about Carrie Ann Kennelly for Prime Minister? Oh. What do you think, Michelle? Uh, it doesn't actually matter what she thinks. And we're back with the news after we have integrity. And we're back. Michelle, what did you think of that? I thought that was fantastic. Neither. I did not. But that is what the world is coming to. And that is what we are reporting today on 111 News. Thank you for watching. You're gorgeous. You are the best fucking anchor in the world. As it turns out, chicken does not give you cancer. <laughs> so up next we have an old lady who can count to 20. <laughs> We here at 111 News have figures that would shock you. <coughs> Find out after the break, will Sprinkle still be stuck in the tree? <coughs> and it looks like we have some good weather ahead. I hate you so much. Whoa, 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 cut, 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 let's cut that, thanks. Karen. 
Darren, how do I now how do I say this nicely? You are fired. Well, why? Yep. <laughs> right, Karen. Now, Karen, for the last few months you have not reported the news and you, you've made through your cameras us all like look like assholes. You're fired. Go. But this is not fair. If you don't want me, then I'll leave and I'll take my camera crew no, with me. Great. But this is not the last that you've seen of Karen Sanders. Karen, don't do that. This isn't some tacky 80s flick. Thank Go you. to hell. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. See you later. Yep, there's the door. Cheers, Karen. I don't need this. I don't need any of you. You'll regret this. All of you, you'll, re you'll regret this. I mean, how do they not know I'm a wonderful performer? I really don't think they can hear you, Karen. What? Fuck you. And you know what? You, you're fired. You've just sucked. This. I'm Karen Bloody Sanders, news anchor. Well, this sucks. <laughs>